Hello, Lockport Township High School District 205 parents and guardians. My name is Dr. Bob McBride, Superintendent of Lockport Township High School District 205. I am standing right outside of room 310 at Lockport Central Campus. And I wanted to bring you an update of the work that we've been doing to demolish plaster ceiling systems that we were concerned about after we had a collapse of a plaster ceiling system in room 310. Talk to you about the safety inspections that we've done now that we've removed those systems and then where we're going in the future to get us to a place where we can reopen this building in August of 2024. Let's start with where we've been. Uh, as many of you know, standing right outside of room 310 on November 1st, approximately about 10 p.m., we had a full 1920s plaster ceiling system, very heavy, very thick plaster come down and really demolish the entire room. That's the only ceiling system in the building that failed and collapsed. And thank goodness there was no one in that building, in the, in the building or in that room at the time. We took immediate action. We evacuated the building. We began investigating what happened. We decided to close the, the building for a few days and then eventually decided to close the building for the entire year because getting feedback from WJE Forensic Architects and working with our Board of Education, we decided any ceiling system with a similar construction method as found in room 310, it had to be demolished and it had to come out. So all of November, WJE and part of December was in Central Campus. They went up into 379 different offices, classrooms, closets, spaces to inspect the ceilings and their integrity in the building. We focused in on 17 classrooms that had a similar construction method as room 310 and three hallways. And our board decided that those plaster systems just had to be demolished and eventually be rebuilt. In January, we learned a little bit more from WJE as we started getting their finalized reports. We added six more classrooms onto that entire list. And now we're working with about 20 plus classrooms in three hallways to completely demolish those ceiling systems. At the same time, DLA Architects was working with us to have the design specifications for demolition and for rebuilding. In February, WJE made a final presentation to our Board of Education, pinpointing the reason for the collapse in room 310 to be a combination of aging of those plaster ceiling systems, but also the great variation in the building due to an antiquated uh, heating and cooling system. That heating and cooling variation in the building had also contributed condensation that caused that collapse. Then we approved bids to do the demolition. And as you can see behind me, that demolition is completely done. We've done 20 plus classrooms, three full hallways are completely demolished. Those legacy and antiquated plaster systems are removed and gone. We then took a pause. Almost all of February, we took a pause. And what we did is in most of March, we had structural engineers come in, look up into those ceilings, which hadn't been looked up into uh, since the 1920s, almost 90 years, and look for any structural engineering issues that we might have to address. And really, we found no major issues. Pease Borst structural engineers recommended common masonry and common carpentry repairs that we should do before we rebuild the ceilings. What does that mean? Well, common masonry. We have some settling cracks that we discovered that probably opened up many, many years ago and now need to be closed up. We found some brick systems that need to be pulled out, replaced with new bricks, and then sealed up with masonry. We also were recommended to remove some things like some very heavy legacy old ceiling lights that were once installed to bring more light into the building. Also replacing some rafters and some wood that had aged and showed signs of stress. But the good news was, even though we did a three hour walk with Pease Borist engineers, where I was very nervous, I thought around every corner we might hear some really horrible news about Central, the news was good. The building just needed some general masonry and some general carpentry, which we can do uh, very quickly. We hope on May 13th 
to approve bids to reconstruct these ceilings with a goal of having that done over the summer and returning students right here to Central Campus in August of 2024 when school reopens. Thank you so much for listening to this Central Campus ceiling update. And as always, please take a look at our webpage. We have a ton of information about this whole process and you can find my contact information and really the contact information of anyone in the district. We are happy to answer your questions and interact with you. Thanks so much and go Porters.